Alright guys, guess what? Part 7, I think it is, of the boat build. You notice I got it back in here upside down. The reason is I want to give everything a nice sanding for, guess what? Paint! I am painting today. We're going to prime, I think two coats of primer and two coats of paint. I got the color, I'm going to hold that. It's going to be a surprise for when we're actually painting. Um, what I did is I went over the whole thing, sanding it. And uh, I, I thought I was just going to give it a light sanding, take off all the major bumps and lumps. And uh, the more times that I sanded it, the more I went around and around and around the boat, the more and more I sanded. So I, I ended up spending more time sanding than I wanted to. Then a little bit of hand sanding here and there. I'll wipe it down and give it the first coat of primer. I'm excited to finally see this covered. This is probably the last time I'm going to have it upside down. And uh, I've been looking into getting a trailer, and we'll probably see a separate video just on the trailer alone. Alright, for primer I'm using this 123 Plus. Now, I've never used it before, but it's quite interesting. Uh, this is regular home paint, exterior grade primer. So, um, I'm going to be using it, and I thought it was interesting, the, the indoor store display had this shown painted over glazed ceramic tile and it was a good bond so I say what the heck I'm going to use it here let's see how it goes I've got no idea the whole boat is an experiment so let's experiment with simple house paint I can't remember how much uh, this was I think it's I think it's $25-$30 I don't remember for this primer um, between primer paint and paint supplies I probably spent almost as much as I have in wood believe that Stuff is expensive. I'm looking forward to seeing what this thing looks like painted. I don't know you guys must be too. I'm tired of staring at this thing. Alright, so I spent a few minutes lightly sanding with 400 grit paper this morning because when I came in I had a lot of little bumps uh, those bumps were from gnats and for the last month or so there hasn't been a bug to be seen uh, I start painting and because this is a, a heated room I had it about 60 degrees gnats were coming out from everywhere they were after this uh, primer and um, so I, after a while I stopped trying to take them out and just paint it over them and this morning I just lightly sanded 400 grit, made them disappear. Uh, so now I got a nice uh, smooth surface. And we're about to paint today. So I know you guys are dying to see this. There's the paint cover. Here it is. This is still wet, so it looks a little funny, I'm sure. But this is the finished paint color. That's what the boat's going to be. It's like a reddish brownish mahogany. And uh, I'm going to paint the whole thing and the top sides. I might do some pinstripes. Make it look like decking on the top. But uh, let's stop talking, let's start working. Well, here it is. I didn't bother showing you the uh, the boat after the second coat of primer, but I did put two coats of primer on. Um, but this is just the first coat of paint. Now, I'm really impressed on how well this paint goes on. And it might actually look a little bit redder on camera than it really is. Um, here you can kind of see uh, that area to the right is still wet, but over here it's dry. You might be able to see the contrast better. When it goes on, it has this purple, and you might be able to catch some of that purple uh, hue to it, but as it dries, you can see how, how much darker it's getting as it dries. This is just one coat. Look at this. One coat of coverage. I'm impressed with how well this paint covers. Um, and you can see, you can actually really see the details much better now. The fillets and everything. Uh, I will tell you this, that when I finished with the primer, all of the defects really popped out. There you can see the difference between wet and dry. The defects really popped out. Every tiny, itty bitty little defect, uh, which I was not happy with, but I let it go. Uh, and then when I put this um, this color on, being so dark, all of those defects disappeared. Just 
completely gone. I'm very happy about it. Here she is with two coats of paint and that paint really covers very, very well. You can actually see um, I got pretty nice even coverage. Um, a lot of the imperfections have been hidden, but um, I don't think it really matters for, for my little riverboat here. I'm not going to be going very fast. I don't need it to be perfectly smooth. Um, and the imperfections are quite minor. If we take a look, you might see like these spots right here. These are minor perfections. You can see this is a little bit of uh, epoxy there. You can see these are minor imperfections. Uh, and at this distance, they are almost invisible. So you only really notice it when you get close. But, uh, wow, it, the boat actually looks bigger now that it's all one color. And there it is. Now that it's one color, it actually seems quite a bit bigger. And I'm really digging this shape, and I'm thinking I might do something like this for the deck. So, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. So you've been watching me build this stand and I think this is what I'm going to need when I flip the boat over. If you notice, that end over there is shorter than this end and it's shorter by about six and a half inches. That's what I was measuring and the reason is if you look at the boat, you see I've got more height from the center to the uh, you know vertical distance uh, in the front than in the back. So. Uh, what I want to do is have the gunnel as level as possible to make my work on the deck uh, much easier and simpler. So I made this angled uh, support. I think it'll be enough. I think it's plenty strong. Uh, I, uh, you saw me sit on it and the boat weighs less than I do. So I also had some of this foam uh, that you saw me that I had covered up. This is stuff we use for shipping. And uh, I just went ahead and taped some on there so I wouldn't get any scuffing or scratching of the paint. Uh, so that is the plan. All right, well, there you have it. She's flipped over. In my excitement to get the boat flipped over onto the cradle, I forgot to film it. But you've seen me flip it over plenty of times. What's one more? So she's painted, she's flipped over. I've got a little motor here that I'm gonna use for a mock-up. It's about a three and a half horsepower. I've actually never even used it. So uh, I might use it on its first runs and then uh, upgrade it to something a little bit bigger when I can find a deal. On Craigslist, of course, I'm not gonna find a deal anywhere else. So um, I think it's gonna work out fine. Uh, this will push it along. We got some work to do. And by we, I mean this guy. <laughs> I say we, but I always mean this guy. Uh, has got some work to do. Like I said in the project updates, I'm gonna have to bring the transom up a little bit. And I don't know if you can see, I'm about three inches below the bottom of the boat uh, to the cavitation plate, so I wanna bring that up some. Um, and then I think we can start building the deck once we get all this figured out. I think I'm gonna call that at the end of this a little less exciting than the other work, but of course, now we've got some actual uh, building to do on the top. I think it's going to be interesting. And if this is the first time you're coming to my channel with this uh, video, I've got previous parts to this project that will take you from the beginning to where we are now. So please do check those out. I'll have links to that in the description of the video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel.